This is my Potter's Journal for summer 2023. It is time to unveil something new again. It is the Slovenian Pottery Petichnik. Okay, I'm assuming Petichnika is the plural. I don't know. Let's see what new is going on in the studio today. What is it? Okay, it's not a ring baking bowl. Some people might call this a bunt. Um, others will jump on you immediately and say, no, a bunt is a shaped baking bowl, ring baking bowl. This is a pottery patitznik. This is the Slovenian traditional pan for baking the patitza, the national dish and the national dish, the nut roll. Um, I first saw these, I could hardly imagine that they were thrown, a shaped thing like this was thrown on a potter's wheel. Um, I was slow to figure out how to make it and to get actually do it. Um, as the Batitza, the family's Batitza maker um, I, and a potter, I knew when I saw it, at some point, I would have to learn to make them. And I'm slow to actualize things. I looked into the bunts back in 2019, and it looks like I did discover it at that time, but didn't know the name of it. And in 2020, a more, okay, look, a closer look and more discovering exactly what they did. I think I did find a video at about that time, but um, still not actually eyes. So from 2017 to finally May 23rd, 2023, the very first pottery potichnik off my potter's wheel at two pounds each. Then on the 2nd of June, three at three pounds and then at four pounds. I hope to decorate those for you in the next video and see some of them glazed. Let's see what's going on in the studio today. Oh, okay, this is six pounds of clay. And I'm only going to give you little bits of the process. Um, I did first, I did the ring bowls, a few of those, just to familiarize myself with the idea of throwing a pot inside of a pot. But um, this is, yes, yeah, six pounds of clay. I started with the seven at two pounds, I did the three at three pounds and a couple of them at four pounds. I'm gonna do a single, because I'm trying to figure out the sizes that these should be too. I'm gonna do um, a six pound, a seven pound, and a nine pound. Now the nine pound will be the biggest, the, um, um, the uh, you know, searching, um, yeah, okay, so, and, and, and this is not a how-to demo, that um, this is not a how-to channel, I'm not a teacher. But I guess if you learn something, I can't stop you. But what we're doing here is this is my Potter's Journal. That, um, in a sense, this is more about okay, discovering something new and figuring it out. Okay, you might not be up to this point in your skill developments or maybe you want to look into okay some pot from your culture and if you come up with something specific do let me know in the comments that something's unique that um, the rest of the world might not know about like when I did the salt pigs but um, yeah no this is and, and this is where I um, 
discovered the first one. I finally, I guess I, I probably saw the first or one of these when I was looking up uh, recipes for the petites. And not that I don't have my own. Um, and the specific way that I and my family have done it. But um, I think the first video I saw was of a Franz Kremsar. And he actually threw, and I'm leaving way too much clay for this centerpiece. I can tell already. He actually put a separate lump of clay thrown down into the center to make the center part of the ring from. Which I think um, if you're going to do these, once I figure out the sizes and production, if you're going to do a lot of them, it gives you a consistent amount. Because already I know I've left way too much clay there. So um, this is in the end, I probably should leave in my notes, this is not going to be a six pound Okay, Petichnik, because I've left so much clay that I'm going to probably have to remove some of that. And you want to throw the center part first, because once you bring the outer up, you just can't, okay, get in to do the center, so. After working with this center cone a bit, and removing some, I'm going to leave it like that so I see how far up the outer part comes off. Um, uh, so, um, yeah, Slovene Fest. Um, apparently, around 1900, half of the population settled in Pittsburgh, and they're the biggest population, and the other biggest population um, settled in Cleveland, also in uh, Chicago. So, Slovene Fest is kind of halfway between Pittsburgh and Cleveland. And I guess if you're a football fan, you might be able to guess my Pittsburgh mugs may not go over with about half the crowd at this show. So that might be one of my best sellers that I've lost. Um, I, I have big hopes for this, but I'm not even sure, you know, if this show's going to do it or not. We'll find out. Um, I, so, I don't know if it was after finding out about doing the show and deciding I was, or if it was last winter, I um, discovered um, another one or two videos, and they weren't easy to find, on YouTube of Slovene Potters making the Batichnik. And each one had a little bit different style. Each one had their own way of doing it. So, and I've kind of, I, I think it was uh, the, the Franz Kremsar who I actually liked his the best. But um, they, um, also they threw with a chamois that they threw the whole wall stretched over, the chamois stretched over the wall and actually threw with it something potters here in the States don't do that I had never seen done before also. Um, 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 at least one of them was sitting side saddle at the wheel. Something I've only seen, okay, um, uh, with pictures of Greek potters do. And that center is way more than I need. I, um, and the sides need to be very even and consistent, so... I often, I do usually throw with a rib. We're going to be doing that here. And maybe, <laughs> maybe I can get this up almost as tall as the center. I'm going to take a minute here and remove the splash pan. Uh, yeah, so I am not accustomed to throwing without a splash pan there. I don't want to get dirty. Okay, so so well, this is a baking baking ring. We want to be able to get what we bake in there out. So I'm giving this okay an outward curve. I gave the bottom an undercut. I took um, cut down the cone to be relatively the same height. 
Um, I like it with a line right here where you start. And I've seen a number of different treatments on the lip, but haven't come up with just how I'm going to do it yet. Okay, and you can click unsubscribe right now. I am not. Okay, the part, the magic part that turns this into Batichnik is what's coming up. I'm not telling you what I'm doing. So you can hit unsubscribe right now. I took me four tries. I watched them, or I made one, I watched, I made one, and I watched, and it took me about four tries till I had what was being done. And the videos weren't necessarily made to teach anybody. And I grew up with the... Okay, Peter Volkus idea of altering a pot. Quite familiar with the Warren McKenzie ideas of altering a pot. When I first started looking into the ring bowls, um, I think everything I saw that was more like a ceramic shaped bunt, I was sure was made in a mold. But just find it amazing that you can alter a form like this. <laughs> and and this one is bigger than the others, so I'm not sure exactly what and how. <laughs> but again, it took me four tries of making one, watching the videos, making one, seeing what each potter was doing and then deciding what it was I liked of each one that I wanted to put in my own. And I've seen different applications with the lips, some where they were actually just left as is, and the decorating was done up there, and some that pinched, um, made a, a divide, um, like that groove in the lip of a Warren McKenzie, and then crimp pinched them together. Um, I actually, this is one of the parts that took me a number of views to realize what exactly was happening. And this, you know, is way bigger than I expected. I went from four pounds of clay up to six. That I think I'm, I'm not going to do the seven. This is a big size. I'm going to do another one at the six. I've seen them lower and wide, and I have seen them taller. So I'm going to do try to do one with the same amount of clay, but a little different shape to it in the end. I'm still going to do the 9 pound one because I've seen some giant ones. I've even seen modular giant ones that are as big as um, a dining table. And the Slovenian potters, I saw some of them lifting up a side of the pot, putting a wooden board like a pizza, a long pizza peel in and lifting them up off the wheel. Um, I, I don't really know that there are that many Slovenian potters doing this now. Now though, we do have, okay, a Slovenian American potter doing it. Um, my life really has been leading up to doing this. Um, if you're not ready, starting with a candle holder. Um, the flower bowls with the um, scalloped edge. Um, um, pots like the uh, chip and dip plate. The, with the open all the way to the bottom, the, um, oh, what do you call the, uh, um, not bunk, the, <laughs> that's what this could be, the uh, ring, ring baking bowl. Uh, but at some point it may come back to it me having to be in the jeans. 
So there is more yet to this story, the decorating, the glazing, kiln unloadings, um, I talk about the show that's coming up too, um, all, alternate forms, like here we go, a baker, a baker bowl with the similar um, um, fluting or whatever you call it technique. I'll close you out with some more images of the pottery patitsnik, and I will say stop back and see what's going on in the studio next week.